हेलो एवरीबडी आई एम मिसेस गीता धिंजुरवाड असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटीज एंड साइंसेज वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी शोलापुर इन माय सेशन नाउ टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट इंग्लिश ग्रामर एंड द यूज ऑफ फ्रेजेस एंड इडियम्स learning outcome at the end of this session student will be able to apply english grammar effectively in their day to day communication the content of my session is importance of using phrases and idioms in english language and the types of phrases the definition of phrase and idiom and the usage of phrases and idioms in sentences so all these points i will cover in this session so let us discuss first what is the use of phrases and idioms in our day to day communication take a pause think about this question and try to give the answer now let us see the importance of phrases and idioms in english language so phrases and idioms add life and vitality to language they make our english sound and more native the next importance is they add sparkle and wit to the works in which they are employed the next importance is they help us enrich our language they make our conversation more interesting and less monotonous they highlight a character's personality the use of phrases and idioms definitely highlight a character's personality now let us see the definition of phrase first we are discussing about phrase and then we will discuss about idioms so what is phrase a phrase is a group of related words that is used as a single part of speech in the other words a phrase is a group of words that does not have both a subject or predicate so it is never a complete sentence here also i have given one definition of phrase a phrase is a group of words that go together but do not make a complete sentence or phrases act as a single part of speech in a sentence so these are some of the definitions of phrase now let us discuss about the types of phrases here are some of the types of phrases the first one is prepositional phrase then second one is noun phrase the third one is verbal phrase next one is infinitive phrase then participial phrase gerund phrase and absolute phrase so all these types we are going to discuss in detail so the first one is prepositional phrase prepositional phrases always begin with a preposition and connect nouns and the examples are he sacrificed his life for the sake of his country 
and the second example is in spite of working hard he was insulted by his boss so a prepositional phrase is a group of words consisting of a preposition its object and any modifier so here is a list of prepositional phrases so go through all these one the next one is noun phrase noun phrases usually assembled centering a single noun and works as a subject and object or a complement of the sentence and the examples are a man on the roof was shouting so here the noun phrase is a man on the roof the next example is he is wearing a nice red shirt so in the first sentence the noun phrase it works as a subject in the next one it is working as an object and see the next example we are sorry for her departure so in this sentence or in this example the noun phrase works as a as a complement of the sentence so a noun phrase is a group of words that consist of a noun and its modifiers and together acts as a noun the next one is verbal phrase sometimes the action being described requires more than one verb it means it comprises a main verb plus one or more helping verbs and the examples are he should wait before going to swim here should wait is a verbal phrase the next example he has finished his work very fast so in this example has finished it is a verbal phrase so a verb phrase is a group of words that includes the main verb and any of its modal and or auxiliary verbs the next one is infinitive phrase a phrase that includes an infinitive along with a simple verb is an infinitive phrase infinitive can act as a noun adjective or adverb in a complete sentence and the examples are alex likes to read comics so to read it is a infinitive phrase the next example is to keep his child calm he learn on the radio so in this example to keep is an infinitive phrase the next one is participle phrase participle phrase enjoins with a participle may be present or past and the examples are please sit down without making a sound so in this example making is a participle phrase making a sound the next example the house was severely damaged by the flood in this example damage is a past participle gerund phrase phrase contains an ing form with modifiers functions as an adjective adverb or a noun and examples are the second example reading novel reading novels is a good habit so reading novels reading 
is a gerund phrase. The last one is absolute phrase. It contains a noun or a pronoun with a particle. And the examples are He sat on the bed, his clothes neatly folded by his side. So, in this sentence, his clothes neatly folded. That is an absolute phrase. See the next example. He looked towards the beggar, his face expressing pity. In this example, his face expressing, that is an absolute phrase. Now, let us discuss about idioms. Idioms are expressions that help us describe an exact situation in a different and more creative way. An idiom is a figure of speech that means something different than a literal translation of words would lead to believe. These idioms have a figure at meaning and basically work with pictures. So, let us see the first idiom. It's raining cats and dogs. It is a colorful way of saying that it's raining really hard outside. It's raining cats and dogs and I am worried about how my kids will reach home. So, in idioms, the literary meaning is different. The second example is cool as cucumber. The meaning is very calm and composed and untroubled by stress. And example is my friend is nervous about taking his driving test. But I am cool as a cucumber. So these are some of the examples of idiom. When you are able to use idioms and phrases comfortably in your speech and writing, then you have achieved a higher level of mastery and fluency in language. So, it's good idea to master some of these expressions. These are some of the references, these are some of the links I have used to create my PPT. Thank you and have a nice learning.